Good evening, everyone. I'm Lauren St. Germain, and for Paul this half hour, first at 5.30, we are learning a St. Pete football player is inspiring others even after his death. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck shows us the life-saving choice hundreds of people are making now in honor of Jaquez Welch. In Marcia Nelson's eyes, her son Jaquez Welch has always been a hero. He always thought about somebody else. So when it came to registering as an organ donor, Jaquez knew his answer right away. And I told him if you pass, it was something that you give that you can't take with you to help somebody else live their life. He was like, oh, my, yeah, I want to do that because what I'm, what I'm going to do with him. So that's what made him sign up to be an organ donor. Two years later, Nelson now realizing the impact of that decision. After her son collapsed on the football field from AVM, a rare brain condition, doctors were able to donate his heart, lungs, kidneys, liver, pancreas, and skin tissue, saving at least five lives. But his impact goes far beyond that. The potential to impact thousands. Betsy Edwards works with LifeLink, the company that facilitated Jaquez's organ donation. Since his story came out, she says the number of people signing up to become organ donors in Florida jumped from less than 200 a day to more than 600 a day. Wow. Single-handedly bringing in more potential donors than any other event in 20 years. I think it really inspires people to want to be like the example that he led in life. And with 113,000 people on organ transplant waiting lists across the U.S., it could mean saving thousands of lives. He's still giving when he's gone. That's, that's big to me. A young man now creating a legacy that will live on for decades and a mom who couldn't be prouder. Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News. There are so many ways our community is marking his life and legacy. This Friday night, Northeast High plans to honor him at their homecoming game. Welch's mom says his wake will be Sunday at the First Baptist Church of St. Pete. His funeral will be one week from today.